God has shown us and has reminded us over and over again that when we do life with other people, to never disqualify the significance that we can play in someone else's life. Hi, my name is Natalie Strummy, um, and I'm married to my amazing husband, Brady, and we have two daughters, um, Nora and Taya. So I grew up in a single parent home. I was raised um, by my dad, and because he was working a lot, I'm just trying to pay the bills. My brother and I really relied on our neighborhood and our neighborhood kids to just kind of keep us busy and to help us not feel so alone. And I remember just very early on, the parents took note of that. They started to realize my dad wasn't around a whole lot. They would come up with fun games and activities for us to play alongside with their kids. And I remember one mom taught me how to make chocolate chip cookies. And looking back, I never once felt like we were a burden. Growing up, I, I've actually never met my biological mom. Um, it was always just my dad raising my brother and I. While I believe that there is such a strong significance for children to grow up in a, in a home or with a father figure in their life, they need that mother role model as well. So I remember the first time that I became a mom. Um, it was not planned and I was terrified. Thankfully, my husband and Christ himself just reminded me that God has always been a provider. He has always provided different women um, at different seasons of my life to just be incredible role models they've invested in my life. Different women who served in a church, um, teachers. One of my best friends, um, her mom, really took me and my brother actually. She took us in as if we were her own children and they are like my second family. I call her my mom to this day. My mother-in-law, my aunts, I have a mentor. Just different friends God has always provided. So we live in a neighborhood where um, there are kids galore and our house is kind of at the end of a cul-de-sac and so it's very natural for kids to just kind of migrate. But we have these neighbors who live across the street and I could tell you stories after stories of the things that my family and I have witnessed between um, the dynamic, the relationship between these kids and their mom. But let's just say there's not a whole lot of hope. But I remember last spring, um, it was such a peaceful day and it was just me and my two girls outside. Within minutes, all of a sudden, all these kids just come running into, one, running into our yard. And I remember just getting super frustrated. And all I wanted to do was just grab my girls and just hide inside. But it was in that moment where God just brought me to my senses. He told me to just look at these kids. And I'm looking at these kids and I know a little bit about their stories. And God just reminded me, and he's like, Natalie, these kids were you. It was in that moment that God just reminded me, he's like, you know, all that matters to me and all that I want from you and from your family is to make these kids feel seen, to make them feel loved. I provided different people for you and your brother growing up and I want you to be that person for these kids in your neighborhood. I took that very literally. The next day I went to the dollar store, I dropped $100. My husband was super impressed by that, but I knew I needed to stock up on all these activities because with COVID shutting a lot of things down, I knew it could be a long summer. It's been really cool over this past year to just see how God has been at work in our neighborhood. God has shown us and has reminded us over and over again that when we do life with other people, to never disqualify the significance that we can play in someone else's life. You know, when you make a decision to follow Christ, um, not only does he give us an ability, but he calls us to make others feel seen. And we have a family mission statement that says, we as a family want to make people feel seen. We want them to feel known. We want them to feel that they are worthwhile. We want to know their stories. And so we've just seen that when you do that, what an honor that is. And so it's been really cool to see how God has really unified our neighborhood in that way.